What is happening, all my fellow ARK survivors out there? This is Lazy Button here on my solo server, doing another mod spotlight of Eco's Garden Decor. So we're going to get this road on the show. We're going to start out with this gazebo slash pergola. This is amazing. This beautiful piece of art. You don't need foundations or ceilings you just need this slap this down live in it that's my philosophy we also have these uh bonsai trees we have the pink and the green bonsai tree which are pretty nifty additions and this is your actual crafting bench for this we'll go over this as soon as we're done with the tour but we're going to move on to the second section of the tour okay so as you can see here we have some fencing some doors. Technically, these are doorways. You have your stone brick doorways. I have one open and one closed, so you can see what it looks like in both both open and closed position. We have our wood fence, our wood fence gateway, and our wood gate open, closed. White pegged fence, same scenario, open, closed. This is really cool. I like this. So this is a copper metal fence, copper metal gate, gate frame, pretty nice. And then over here we have the black metal fence, the gate and the gate frame. This all looks amazing. Just imagine putting this around your base. This changes everything. And obviously, some more stone fence. I kind of outlined the area in it. And then we have this uh, pen fence. So, no more storing your dinos behind walls. Just put this up. You got a pen fence gate and pen fence gateway. And keep your dinos in here. And you can see through it. And it's, it's amazing. Alright, we're going to move on to the next part. So, over here, we actually have a couple of chandeliers. These are amazing. Super, super amazing. I want to put these in every base I own. They're just gorgeous. I'll let you guys take that in for a second before we move on to the next area. Okay, so over here we have a window flower box. It's empty. But you know what? You can use some other Eco Deco mods to actually put some of Eco's flowers into these pots. It's actually kind of cool. And then we have a windowed flower box that actually has flowers in it. So I, believe, I believe it's a purple box, if I'm not mistaken. Well, we'll look more into that when we get over to the bench. Then we have our brick ground planter. We have our brick pillar planter. Our flower pot, which is the large one. We have a medium and a small. Do the same thing with these. You can put flowers in each one of those. Then we move on to the wooden, the small, medium, large, the pillar, and the ground planter. So if you back up, you get kind of a nice view. Different aspects of the build. Looks really nice. Okay, so over here what we have are some wall planters or some hanging plants. We have a large regular plant. We have a large decorative purple plant. You can see it's a large hanging flowers. This one is a large hanging plant. Then you have the smaller versions over here. And so on and so forth. And these great additions. You can put these anywhere you want in your base to add some character or decoration. Okay, so what we have next are these topiaries. Topiaries. We have a Tranodon. We have a Dodo. And you can call it whatever you want. It's a penguin. <laughs> we have the Gorilla, Megapithecus, whatever you want to call it. We have the Beals of Bufo. We have the Trike. We have Therizino. Anki. Stego. Ametrodon. Dodicarus. Tyrannosaurus Rex. And a Spino. And then we have a tiny Bronto. Now, this pack actually does have a big Bronto. Okay, so you can see what I mean by big Bronto. This is the small Bronto I have over there on the platform. This is the large Bronto, and they're made for decorating 
They look like they're cut out of plants, you know, like they should. Nice little features. And over here we have some lamps. This is what everybody's been excited for. Well, I'm pretty excited about the lamps. I like the way they look. We have a lamp post with dual lamps on it. We have a... Yes, we know we have a stone wall there. Please and thank you. Show me something else. Oh, oh. There we go. Wall lantern. Okay, we have two different versions. We have a large lantern. We have a large hanging lantern. Both very nice. We have medium lantern, medium hanging lantern. Again, both very nice. And then we have the little tiny ones. These are, I think, amazing. These small lanterns are perfect for decorating gardens because you see those little light up, um, what are they, solar panel lights you put out in your gardens? They look almost just like that. And then you have the small hanging lantern. These are actually really cool too. And then over here we have, I don't want to see your stone brick. Fancy wall lanterns. Put those anywhere. They do put off a decent amount of light. It's enough to give your place sort of a dark atmosphere, but still put off a little light, I guess. And then right here we have large dome. So these are path lights. You have the large dome, you have the medium dome, and then you have the small dome. And over here we have some nifty little fountains. These things are amazing. I uh <laughs> I have some of these on my actual base build on on actual live community server. We have a regular wall fountain. They're all regular wall fountains, but I'll get more into it. Fish, manticore, and I'm pretty sure this is a vase wall fountain. All right, and over here we have these cool ground lights. There are multiple colors, starting from cyan, green, pink, purple, red, royal, and yellow. These are really nice for lighting up pathways or putting out beacons. Or, you know, if you're a bad flyer like me on any of these pteranodons or birds in this game, mark yourself out a landing pad with these. And finally, last but not least on this tour, we have hanging lights and fountains. First off, we're going to go through this. I'm going to cheat fly just so we can see it. See it from a high perspective. Alright, and this one is a hanging light on a post. It's pretty cool looking. Okay, now these lights didn't actually come on the post. These are actually single posts. This is a Chinese lantern, and those are hanging lights, so you can just connect them to the single post, do it however you want, make it look really good. It looks awesome. And now we're going to cover the small fountain here. Looks great. Very great. I'm glad fountains have been added to the game. That's something I've, I've uh, been looking forward to for a while. And all the way up to the large fountain. Or if you're me, you can jump into the light. These just look great. Perfect feature for any base. And then we have our stone benches. We have our wooden benches. Definitely really nice. We also have these hedges. So you can uh, do some pretty cool things with hedges. I'll actually throw in a picture at the end of this video so you can see what I, I did with the hedges. Then we have these small bushes. And the fact that you can stack these walls is amazing. But we're going to go check out that crafting bench. We'll be right back. Okay, so in this crafting bench you have, as you've seen out there, from the hedges and fences, the fence gates, obviously the gates themselves, the fountains, bonsais, the hanging plants, planting boxes, gazebo. I missed something. Let me get some fiber. Oh, I have some. Is it not enough? It's not enough. I'll be right back when I get the fiber. 
Okay, so I actually missed a few things, and I do apologize for that, but I did notice this scarecrow doesn't have a skin on it. It still <laughs> looks pretty awesome. It is actually pretty cool with that skin. We also have the hanging ivy, which is amazing. I knew that was added. I don't know why I never noticed it when I was building all this stuff, so I apologize for that. And then we also have... Who doesn't want a stone snail garden statue? No house is complete without a snail garden statue. Remember that. And you see we have all these uh, tabiaries, all the lanterns, the lamps, the hanging lights, the ground lights. Everything in here to just make your base look amazing. More so on the outside than inside unless you're like me and like to do it in both places. I'd like to take this time to thank you guys for stopping by to watch this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. You take it easy.